The Singapore defense community celebrates its 50th anniversary with an exhibition of the latest innovations in defense technology. Jen Obiado will tell us why. The Navy Medical Services of the Republic of Singapore Navy exhibits its rapidly deployable maritime container, or RDMC, during the Singapore Defense Exhibition held at Marina Bay Sands Expo and Convention Center. RDMC is a modular, compact, fully mechanized medical container that is able to support the surgical teams for long periods at sea. Requiring only two men to deploy in 10 minutes, it also houses different compartments such as operation tether and an intensive care unit. Each RDMC is capable of accommodating two operating tethers and four ICU beds. It can be deployed on board ships during rough sea conditions and able to tap on different power sources. Um, so it's, it helps me like see what um, the Navy people um, get to do on the high seas. Because I think I found out that they can do their surgeries like a hospital, uh, so they don't have to transport the casualties all the way to the land before they have to do this, these things. La. The RDMC is another innovation project of Ministry of Defense. Among the famous exhibits in the event are the transparent ceramic armor which is able to stop bullets and provide greater protection to soldiers and the humanoid risk control system. That could sensor threats from uh, naval warfare and land warfare. So and also what it gives me inspired is the newly built system in our uniform such as uh, advanced helmets that give sensors and light, night vision. I feel like I want to invent a um, ground vehicle capable of rescue and also uh, capable of ground warfare. And I just feel that we need to have a both strong air, sea and land defense to make sure our country is safe from external threats. Singapore President and Senior Emeritus Minister Go Chok Teng led the launch of the DTC-50 commemorative book and the presentation of defense technology prized to all winners. This defense exhibit also aims to inspire and encourage aspiring scientists and engineers in order to develop high level of defense technology, beneficial for national security. Jen Obiado, UNTV News and Rescue, Singapore.